Hi everyone and welcome back. This is my Keyway Superlight. It's actually the Keyway Superlight SE edition. It's Euro 4 or Euro 5 fuel injected and it costs £2,800 brand new. These Chinese bikes are going up. Um, but it does appear to be a really good bike. People online like them. Uh, they've had a 10 year run now with the Superlight so they've got a little bit of backing. That's what they need to do more with their Chinese bikes. They need to run their productions a bit longer. And honestly, it's really nice and smooth to ride. I'm going to do some very basic um, servicing bits today. Silly stuff like greasing under the levers, just because they get that gets missed out. Uh, cleaning, cleaning. I want the wheels to be clean and shiny. I want every any bits of rust I see need to go now. The chrome and, and bright work needs to be chrome and bright worky. The paint needs to be cut back and shiny and basically this can be ready to go. Simple stuff like behind the screen here looks little bits of rust, we'll get rid of that immediately. Um, I'm not going to the jet wash, it's too wet, I'm going to use bundles and bundles of spray and I've bought some fresh rags, three of them actually, uh, microfiber down there to get all this done appropriately. I'm going to strip it down a little bit, I kind of, technically I want to remove the saddle bags and I want to remove the seat and the side panels because um, I want to uh, check the air filter anyway although it runs it runs perfectly well but I want to get right down to the nitty gritty here and make sure I can clean everything so let's remove the seat and the bags now these by the way are bolted on which is cool there's bolts under here so you have to undo the bolts to get them off so annoyingly the saddle bags can't come off they can but the bolts in there I have some sort of retaining nuts on them and it's very hard to get your hand underneath the back so they're fine they can stay in place I'll give them a clean and I'm going to be cleaning around them as, to the best of my ability um, I've taken off the reflector at the back just for now um, although it's a bit big maybe I'll get a mini one uh, so that I can really clean up all this body work so I'm going to focus here on the back end first that's also going to include cleaning the chain and um, and relubing it and any of this area I can get to it will have a bit of a clean and a scuff so that it's uh, so that it, it looks much better and then of course we're down here at the wheel and we're going to be cleaning away at the wheels to make them as nice as possible so today I'm going to be using a lot of um, cleaner although I'm going to switch this up soon to um, some you know washing up liquid and water People say it's another battle people have over the years should you use washing up liquid. Um, it's fine. The problem with washing up liquid is it removes the natural waxes and stuff, including the waxes you've put on to protect your paint. If you're doing what I'm doing and then re-putting the waxes on, then of course you can use a good strong cleaner that has washing up liquid in it. Uh, Cool. So let me get this back end a bit better. You can see kind of roughly, we're just looking at little bits of rust at this stage, nothing major. Um, it's just if someone kind of leaned down and looked at this bike in depth, that this stuff would stick out, you see. So that's what I'm trying to get rid of. There's no um, filming really here, guys, because I'm cleaning. And let's, let's be honest, that's boring. Uh, rear wheel's clean and the chain's clean. Chain's clean, um, bright works clean with a wax layer. This side panel's clean with a wax layer. I've done some of the engine work, but it is a bit peely. That's been done. This crash bar's been done. The downpipe's been done. The fork's been done. Um, and actually, technically, these sides of the wheels have been at least cleaned at this stage. Tank is not done yet. And front mod guard and rear mod guard's not done yet. I'm gonna do that next. But I'm kind of going into the nitty gritty um, everything I've cleaned has now got a wax layer on it. Let me show you the difference. That's this side. And then that's this side. Oh, it looks as not clean. Well, there you go. Look there. So you get that kind of, that kind of gritty look on it. So that's what this kind of bit of nitty gritty cleaning is about. Uh, I need to get the paint work done now. So this bit the full tank and the full front mod guard and then we'll look at little bits we've missed like the back of here and stuff because basically 
uh, it will be scrutinized people love these bikes they want them to look good it will be really scrutinized so we have to get rid of any kind of bits of bad that we see at this stage and everything we work on put a bit of wax on i've got a carnuba wax there a really good one and um, that dropped that off last time he was here and that from that snacker's yard because uh, he knows he knows once you touch anything like this you've got to put a, a layer on of wax to help protect it that includes the chrome work and the bright work so I'm, I'm hammering away we are going from this remember this bike's been sitting over covid so it is kind of looking not great but i think it will look lovely once it's uh once i've taken the time even the side stand that i've cleaned up already look it was full of rust last time and these are all the little bits that make the difference so let me get the body work done now so the fairings the tank and the rear the rear my god look how much difference a wipe with a rag and a layer of wax gives it makes it look looked after tank's not been done you can still see it's uh not good but you can also see it's going to come up really nice rear end's done you don't even see any of this but do it now while you can you do see it down here so make sure it's done properly um side panel was done already tank is next uh i don't know if you can see the little imperfections on the tank i wonder if that sticker will come off um can you see blemishes in the tank yeah you can look uh, all that will be gone and uh, with a layer of wax it will um it will look so much better. I'll give this chrome in the middle a bit of a clean first as well. I've got some chrome cleaner. It's basically metal cleaner, but it's a bit gentler in its you know acidity. Um, so it's better for cheap chrome like this, basically. The metal cleaner might be too harsh for it. Uh, so yeah, I'll do that bit in the middle first, then I'll clean the tank. Then um, a wax layer on it. And actually, to an extent, the bike is... Uh, looking much much better after i want to give the wheels another clean and a layer of wax as well uh obviously nowhere near the brakes and um that's good this is only this side by the way guys i haven't i haven't done this side this side looks pretty bad still it will need a good clean all of it but that's what this is about this is a quick easy project so far so uh we may as well give it a good clean up I mean it, it's literally going in and out the door straight away with a bit of a brake service which I've done so uh, clean it up get it looking nice get it out there are kind of light imperfections in the tank little scratches you can hardly see them but they're there um, so I'm going to use some of my favorite stuff that's this scratch renew and repair basically you can get a really old paint scheme Put this on by hand, rub it around a bit, and it um, it comes out looking so good. I'm going to do a quick wipe over on this one because these paints aren't particularly thick. thick we know that. Um, so, and it will leave a layer of wax, but I will also top up with my wax. So, if you look at it now, it's a bit dull. It's been cleaned. It hasn't got wax on it. I am going to cut it back with that, then put a layer of wax on it, and you'll see it's going to be really thick and shiny. Um, and I'll have to get this middle bit polished up to kind of match. So watch this. Um, I did the turtle wax scratch and repair. I swear, I rubbed it in for a minute max. Um, it's hazing. Watch this. That's ridiculous. So what you're doing is you're buffing the wax in. Now look. Honestly... That is ridiculous. Same here, it's not as shiny here. In fact, that side and this side, I'll show you again. So it's uh, it's still hazy at the moment. Watch this area here, still hazy, watch. How crazy is that? I mean, I don't even think we can see it, but it is such good stuff you can use it on no matter how bad the paint is you can use it and that's only got a thin wax coat on it it's got its own wax coat on it if I put um, my wax over the top it's gonna pop even more great stuff that stuff absolutely brilliant 
so I'm not sure if the camera really picks up the detail here um, but it's it's pretty stunning it's come up really well it's shiny the bright works polished the paint works polished the leather works cleaned it's got a lot of presence this bike runs rides brakes does everything it should do and it does it well actually um, Two things I just want to double check. Clutch biting point yesterday. I, I took the slack out, but I weren't sure if the biting point was a little high, so I might need to adjust it a little bit more. And there's a bit of play in the in the head. Don't know if you can see that. Um, two bolts down here. I just want to nip them up for my peace of mind. Um, on these kind of bigger bikes, I think they're, they're slightly dampened. I think that's probably normal. Um, but I just want to make sure I, they're nipped up. I just want to give them a little nip just in case it's not normal uh it's not my favorite bike in regards to riding i find this precision quite awkward but it really does do everything well um i'm a little bit hesitant to put the advert up um quickly because i feel bad that i picked this bike up yesterday morning um i don't want to advertise it the day after i think that looks i think that's um it looks terrible because Especially I'll be advertising it for double what I paid or, you know, close to. Um, and actually, part of me thinks not to overthink that, not to worry about it. It's my tools, my experience, my expertise, my professionalism that makes it worth doing. If the guy couldn't do the brake fix himself, he would have had to have paid someone to do it. He would have had to have got the bike there. Um, and that would have cost him a couple of hundred. That's the truth. So, uh... The only thing I've done is I've got the parts and the experience, so I've done it straight away. But I, I will wait a couple of days. Obviously, if anyone's interested in this bike and it's still available, do contact me. Um, I'm going to throw it onto my Facebook page first. So if you're not on there, you, you might have lost this one. Um, if you are, then this bike's available and you're more than welcome to come and have a look and see what you think. But that's it, really. I'm going to nip them up, like I said. And then I'm not going to overthink this bike. I'm going to take it for a quick spin. I'll put the GoPro on. It, it worked yesterday, actually, with something I filmed. Uh, I know I still cut the film down. That was the Sontes test ride. But um, the actual full eight minutes did come out as well. So uh, that's usable, um, which is great.